And when you're tackling caffeine, you don't go cold turkey because you will go through the caffeine flu, which I've done. And let me tell you, it is wow. like you can be migraine level vomiting. Really? Yes. Oh my God. So yes. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know any of this. Yes. I used to drink even... insane amounts of coffee. Yeah. Insane. Like, wow. like multiple espressos plus frappuccinos and Americanas in one day. Wow. Yeah. So I understand firsthand, like if you, you just, you don't just stop coffee because it can be, you can literally hurt yourself in the detoxification process. Wow. So I always recommend if you're having, say, if you're having three cups of coffee a day, go to one and a half. Uh huh. Right. And substitute the other one and a half with green tea or cacao. Right one of my yes. famous elixirs, right? Give yourself the ritual, but with something less aggressive, yes. right? And then do that for a week. Then from the one and a half, go to one cup, you know, or a half a cup of caffeinated coffee while you're still doing the green tea, do that for a week. Then when you're just on green teas or black teas, <clears throat> go to every few days and see how your body processes the withdrawal of caffeine. If you just get a little bit of a headache and you can power through, then see how long you can go. But if like, it's just the next day and you're like, whoa, I'm getting a migraine, then you might need to go every other day versus every few days and you wean yourself off. And in the, in the meantime, you're drinking an herbal tea or a fabulous cacao elixir. One of my, my, actually my signature, um, hormone balance elixir is what I've given every single one of my female clients. Really? Yeah. Maybe we could share the link to that to people so they can try that elixir. Yeah. There, there's recipes on my website and then my yeah. elixir kit, um, is actually yeah. becoming available again. Um, oh, so they can order that. Amazing. I love your elixir kit. I still have my powders that I use. I love it. And so, yeah, we'll definitely add that so people can start weaning off the caffeine. <laughs> yeah. And then as far as organic, and then once you, you know, once you've gotten a handle on the sugar and the caffeine, um, well, and the first thing I'm going to back up for a second, if you're not drinking organic coffee, throw your coffee in the garbage and go get organic coffee. Right. Non-organic coffee is filled with chemicals and mold. Okay. Mycotoxins, right? So yes. a lot of the jitters that people get is actually from the mold toxicity, not the caffeine. That's interesting because I experienced the same thing with people with cacao. Oh. When they get cacao nibs, yes. cacao beans, and they get the jitters. Yes. Or powders that have been broken down with the nibs. It's often because of the mold and the fungus and not the actual cacao. So exactly. I guess it's the same with coffee. Yes, it's a mycotoxin uh, and it's the bean and how it's prepared and stored. Yes. Right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So Sick. you've got to throw out any non-organic coffee and cacao. All cacao is not made equal. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Don't get totally. me started on that tangent. <laughs> um, so, so you have to immediately go to organic, fresh roasted, if you can, coffee. Uh huh. Right. Um, and then, you know, if you are doing a decaf coffee, that's absolutely got to be organic and water based. And I would just make your way off of that. It's not really doing anything for you. And there's amazing something called Maya Seed that I love. Um, there's a wonderful company on Janank Tea. I, I'm terrible. I apologize for mispronouncing the name, but it's a mama owned company and uh, Maya Seed or AKA Ramon Nut. Um, uh -huh. I love Ramon Nut. I used to actually be able to find raw Ramon Nuts years ago, back in my raw food days. And I would make nut milk out of it because it's one of the most nutrient dense nuts on the planet so wow. so filled yes it so powerful that it would save a tribe from famine wow. if that's all they had to eat right 
Whoa. Yeah, wow. it's incredible. And now I can only find it roasted, but when it's roasted, it actually has that kind of bitter coffee flavor. Ah. So I actually use that a lot as the um, water for my elixir because there's another layer of nutrition there. Yes. Yes, yeah, that I sounds. Tangented, but yeah, and then because I didn't get Amazing. into the whole organic thing, because then you want to start the organic process slowly, because that's a right. perspective shift. Each one of these three tasks is its own perspective shift. And I want you to be, you know, as you're listening to this, I want you to understand that I want you to be successful. And in order to be successful, you have to take on one thing at a time and and really comprehend it and and see its process so that when you step into the second phase, you've got a better handle on that. You're more equipped and you're ready to tackle it. And then you get into the third phase and you're like, all right, I have an idea of what I'm doing here. And then when you're yeah. ready to go deeper and really peel the layers, now you know you can come to someone like me or a practitioner who's got deep experience in, in detoxification and hormone balance. And, and now you're mentally, spiritually, and physically equipped to really start to peel the deep, deep layers that will get you the ultimate success you're going for. Yeah. And I mean, when we're talking about hormonal balance, you know, we've been discussing IVF, but that also includes like for men, erectile dysfunction oh or hot flushes for women with menopause and all those factors. Yes. I'm just going to drop this little Please seed. Please do. 